Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to export your Power BI file with the password in using Power Automate. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So first of all what is the problem? So the problem is when you're exporting a file from Power BI, if it is a secure information, the like financial information, which you don't want to ex to open up to everyone, then that's a problem, right? So you want to secure that file using a PDF, I mean, using a PDF password or something else, right? So here in our video, what we are going to do is we can use the password protected file, which is the help of Adobe PDF. So for this solution, what are the license which you required is basically the Power BI license and then we need also the Power Automate license and then we also need the Adobe Developer license. So in order to get this Adobe Developer license, so what you need to do is first of all you need to go to this website which is here adobe.power automate underscore get started i will add this link into this description of this video so once you go into this one it will ask you to log in with your account and then you need to start a trial version they are actually giving a six months of trial version with thousand document transactions so if first of all if you want to try it out how it works and uh, then you can just make use of this trial version and here you need to give it your name, I mean the credentials name as a kind of uh, authentication name. And once you click on give it the name here and then by creating a credentials, you need to agree these terms and then create credentials. So once you do so, it will give you all the required keys which you need to apply it in your Power Automate flow in order to protect your file. So these are the keys which it shows here like client ID, client secret, organization ID, technical account ID and base64 encoded private key. So all these keys is required in Power Automate. So now you let's go into Power Automate how I have actually built up this report. So this is my Power Automate with screen and here I just use on Power BI button click. I have made a separate video series of this one how you need to export report into Power BI. If you haven't seen that I recommend you to please watch this video before this one because I'm not going to go in detail about that once more to avoid the unnecessary time. Please go and check out that video for this one. So here we need to export this Power BI report and then we need to create a file in the SharePoint and after that until this step it was available in my previous video. And after that, you need to add a new step, which is when a file is created or modified in a folder. So where you can get that, you need to click on this plus icon and then click on add an action. And here, if you go to SharePoint, SharePoint, if you click on this one here, right now it is available in the bottom of this one, um, I guess. it should be in the trigger actually because when a file is created right so when a file is created or modified in a folder let me zoom this here when a file is created or modified in a folder you need to select these options so once you do so here you need to define your site address and folders where the file is available and here in fair content type yes so these are the things which you need to select and after that you need to click on this plus sign and add an action here you need to select protect pdf from viewing so how we can get that add an action and here now if you select on adobe so if you click on this one which is basically adobe pdf services so once you click on that it will give you the option of multiple things here and here what you need to select which is basically let me zoom out here protect pdf from weaving so if i scroll down so there is an option of protect pdf from weaving 
so here is the one you need to select these options and inside to that you need to provide the file name password and the file content so before do that when your first time you are doing it it will just ask you to provide the required credentials like if i click on new connection here you see these are the information which we need to provide like this connection name client id client secret organization id technical account id and base 64 so all this information we have seen already in our previous slide when you create this in power in adobe using power automate get started link so you need to enter all this information and then need to create so once you do so then it you just need to add your file name and password your desired password and file content so here on the file name section when you click on that it will just take this option the previous step which is when a file is created or modified in a folder so here what it will do you just need to select this xm as file name encoded as a file name and here in the body you just need to select the file content from this dynamic menu so this is the thing which you need to add so once you do so and after that it will just convert this file and later on you just need to export this file one more time so basically just it is this flow actually will not work i mean this action will not work as a kind of replacement of that file it just create the file but it will not override that so to do that you actually need to create one more file here what i'm doing i'm just giving it name as converted and then the file name and here for the file content i'm using this previous step pdf file content now this is going to export here and then it's going to store the information with the password and right now here the password i'm just giving it as a user one two three so if you want to be a dynamic password like how we are getting the emails from the bank statement um, for that we need to define our own name and birth data birth something like that if you want to do that like that please post in the comment section below i will try to make a separate video on that how we can do that dynamic setting up the passwords and then once you do so and if you click on the button it will going to export that report into the sharepoint location so now let's go into that sharepoint location just i want to show you how it actually worked under the export files folder here is the one this is the two things which i exported yesterday a bit time so if you see this one this is without conversion i can directly view this report without any password now the file name which we have added as converted if i click on this one then it will ask you to enter the password so enter a password you just need to click on this one if i give something like wrong password let's see how it works so incorrect password please try again it just clearly shows this message here now i'm going to use the correct password and then click on ok and here you go you can able to view this report so this is how you can able to control your file before, uh, while exporting into power bi with the password if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.